Hello everybody, welcome to Bar Zone. And today we're going to talk about psychology and detective stories. As you know, I'm a screenwriter and I'm interested in true crime stories. And I think about uh, writing a new one called The Addiction. I think that will be my next screenplay. Anyway, I want to just go over a comment that was said by somebody on uh, Joe Fosco's about psychology on uh, American Post. He's talking about why, the, what are you a doctor? Okay, so Joe, the comment is, what are you a doctor? So who are you to diagnose? And he was talking about the uh, Elmwood Park uh, chief, or whatever, the Campos um, top guy, uh, which is DeFranzo saying that he's senile and he's sick and he's not. The thing is, is that, isn't Joe Fosco, didn't you say yourself that you were diagnosed by depression for Dr. Giacchino? Anyway, so that brings us, when you get into Dr. Giacchino, okay, he's a pill doctor. Okay, if we want to go back to the story, there's a story about John Cask, and of course, which, I mean, John Cass from the Tribune had a story out, and of course, Joe Fosco is trying to claim credit, okay? Because he knew the pill doctor because he was in his office all the time for sessions, right? Medical sessions? No. Psychiatric sessions, psychology sessions. But he's sitting there saying that everybody else is the psycho, okay? So there's pills going around like Oxitin. This uh, Dr. Joseph Giacchino from the River Grove Medical Center happened to have been busted and lost his license, okay? The FBI was on the scene and all that, okay? I've been reading this book on FBI. The thing is, is that it seems to me that Joe comes up more like Bob and Charge, and I'll tell you a little bit about Bob and Charge. But I want to read this, this special note here that Joe told me once. Um, I copied this down from a comment that he had made to me on his blog, American News Post regarding uh, two victims of uh, Dr. Giacchino, according, well, you tell me, you know, according to uh, Joe, uh, his uh, story, uh, Michael DePhillips Jr. and the, uh, also Anthony Canelano, who is missing in the Chicagoland area. Okay, according to close sources of the late Michael DePhillips Jr. was tightly connected to the drug dealing kingpin Joseph Giacchino Jr. and not Okay, so is that his son, Junior, now? Okay, so we got a Junior there, okay? And not for appropriate reasons, and according to a source that I have known for many years who knew the missing Anthony Catalano and Giacchino were connected through prescription narcotic dealing. The DEA and Illinois state medical inspectors have capabilities to verify, okay? If Catalino and De Phillips had received prescription drugs from Giacchino, which would confirm said connection, this would be additional verification. One problem with two agencies sometimes elect to keep these, this information from the outside sources, including victims and their loved ones and other agencies. Okay. Initially, if the Chicago Police Department CPD feels that my article is lacking solid evidence, he had an article on uh, were uh, Anthony Candelano and G um, Michael Phillips Jr. soldiers for Dr. Giacchino, and that's the war on crime and drugs, okay, um, article is lacking solid evidence. I would argue that such claim is premature, ignorant, and downright stupid. So therefore, this was a year ago, okay, when he told me this. And you know what? Then the police weren't interested, right? Well, if this were true, okay, a year and a half, to the DEA would have evidence. They would have brought Dr. Giacchino down already in about a year and a half. This was a year and a half ago. This was October... I want to say 2010, October, November, he told me this, 2010. And the DEA would have proved this if this were true. So would the FBI. Okay, can you make some sense of this? Okay. Okay. The claim is premature. Okay. However, I would not be surprised 
if some police officers that serve the public without having a decent education might be unable to grasp my expert theory. I want to know if the police would consider Giacchino as a person of interest, and if not, why? I do not expect an arrest he, um, to be made because of the police reading my article, but I do think that the police should be compelled to take their investigation into a new direction and Giacchino should be questioned. Unless suspects are unassociated to, unassociated to Giacchino are ready to be arrested in the uh, next few days. I do not have a photo tape recording or video of the crimes in question. What percentage of the amount of crimes committed are actually recorded? However, I have a personal knowledge. Remember that knowledge of him being... His knowledge was he said that he was in Giacchino's office watching Giacchino, Dr. Giacchino, Joseph Giacchino, the pill doctor, according to the Chicago Police Department, that that um, knowledge that he was having sex, he saw him with women and their clothes off and just let him walk in, okay? I'm wondering about some of this, okay? Okay, so I have personal knowledge of the evil doer named he has personal knowledge because he probably was involved, okay, somehow, okay, who is, a background is disturbed, um, disturbed and consistent with a killer that would want Cal Cat Catalano and the Phillips dead. On top of the fact that the drug dealing Giacchino was tightly connected with them. I would not be surprised if the CPD would rather discount my expert theory than investigate it. For some of the some of it sucks to work for a living. Especially for some of them it sucks to work for especially when the aloof taxpayers are issuing the paychecks, regard them paychecks regardless if they work or being a work is being done or not. In addition, Dr. Giacchino has a significant connection to the Chicago Police Department. Hold on, let me get something. Where's my Chicago Police Department here? Oh, I put it somewhere. Oh, anyway, I was going to put that on. But anyway, all right, whatever, you know what I think. According to them, he has a significant connection to the Chicago Police Department. Giacchino, a longtime associate and employer, Dr. David Demarest, Okay, served the CPD for many years as a physician that uh, would evaluate the police officers for disabilities. I pray that this is not the reason that the CPD would refuse to consider the plausibility of my expert theory, Giacchino. Furthermore, I have acquired the small details from reliable sources that position Gino with two victims which not for appropriate reasons thank you let the prayers go out to the Catalano de Phil's family okay so why isn't somebody busted I don't know I will tell you one thing is that three years ago I know that there was a Mario Gonzalez that I needed to call it was on the missing person flyers and he he didn't seem interested. And the other thing, um, there might be some sort of gray area there. I know that there's a Messino brother that's got, I don't know. But um, the one thing that he said, I was trying to say, isn't this the Tony Catalano hanging with the guys I knew? And he was like down in the guys I knew. The other thing is that he was saying to me, but he did, ha he did have a friend by the name of Joe. Do you know his name, J friend Joe? And at that time, I didn't know a Joe. I didn't know who any Joe was. So three years ago, I want to say April, about May, in May, I had called Mario Gonzalez from the Chicago Police Department. That's the name, the contact name on the internet and on the flyer. And he asked me if I knew who his friend Joe was and know about his friend Joe. 
and that means that somebody knows something about a gel okay three years ago they knew this okay so maybe 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 some of the things I don't know the thing is is that you know nobody's doing nothing I could understand it but it's been three years okay and we need more witnesses or something to this to solidize this case okay so um back to Bob and Charge I wanted to go to how Joe reminds me of Bob and Charge let's tell you a little bit of story about jo Bob and Charge I call him the three seats in the the corner mascot he used to hang at the three L and what he would he's also known as reservation Bob and what he would do is he would leave a reservation. He'd come in at 9 o'clock, okay? And he'd have the reservation to reserve the three seats in the corner. And then when the cool guys come in, like 10, 11, 12 o'clock, like normal cool guys, they say, get the frick away from me. And he'd go up to them, and he'd go up, and they'd say, get the hell out, get the hell out of here. So Bob in charge, we'll let him, let that known um, as our new people out there called Grenude. Okay, somebody told me something about this character here that he might be a clown. He's not quite a ladies man. I don't know. Maybe he's a ladies man. Maybe he's not. I got this pamphlet from Worsham College. How can he, if he's on drugs and really doped up and everything and shooting a gun around, slap a dead body around? He's taking this science class, mortuary science class. Anyway, I have a lot of questions here, and uh, is the FBI is looking, or why weren't they looking? Where are they? Okay, this is Barzo. Thank you.